Everyone's obsessed with ChatGPT, but hardly anyone is getting the most out of it. So here are 12 prompts to get you ahead with ChatGPT. I've even included a bonus one at the end, and I've added a link below in the comments to a cheat sheet containing all the prompts in the video so that you can try them out for yourself. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive in to some of the most unique techniques and prompts for ChatGPT. It's easy to ask ChatGPT to generate a list of ideas for your next project, but often they're generic and they lack authority. Instead, ask it to come up with new ideas or approaches on a familiar topic. For example, check out this prompt where you can add in a topic, for example here, how to study more effectively, and then add in something like, for the topic above, brainstorm new ideas or approaches, prioritize ideas that are uncommon or novel, and see what you get back. Now, the more specific your prompt is, the more specific ChatGPT's response will be. Use colons to prime ChatGPT with as much information as possible, and niche down and avoid generic responses like everybody else. For example, check out this prompt where you can insert a topic, such as how to create an online course, and then use colons to be very specific about the audience you're writing for, as well as the writing style, and you can put in as many colons and instructions to this prompt as you like. Now, did you know that you can actually practice being interviewed using ChatGPT? You can use a prompt to simulate a basic interview. You can add in the specific position you're applying for for even more accuracy. You can put in something like, I want you to act as an interviewer. I'll be the candidate and you'll ask me the interview questions for the role of whatever it is that you're applying for. I want you to only reply to the interviewer and don't write out the full conversation. You can then respond just like you would in a normal interview and get that practice without having to pay for it. If you feed ChatGPT some of your writing, it will actually learn your writing style. You can ask it to help you create a style guide for your future outputs and prompts, and it'll give you the exact words to describe your voice and tone, which you can then use in your prompts to get much more exact writing styles and avoid generic outputs. This is great if you're trying to continuously build a unique voice in all of your blog outputs. You can do like I've done here and grab a selection from your own blog or from your own YouTube videos or whatever it is you've written before, paste it in, and then get ChatGPT to analyze that text and pull out your style and your voice and your tone. Now, I love studying and mind maps are a great way to prepare for anything, but knowing where to start with mind maps does take time. ChatGPT can help you build an effective mind map just with a very simple prompt. For example, you can put in any topic such as hypertension here and then ask ChatGPT to create a mind map on the topic. You can ask it to list out the central idea, the main branches, and then all of the sub branches to help you get started. Practicing soft skills can be really difficult, but you can ask ChatGPT to play the part of a customer, a patient, or a colleague. You can have a conversation or ask it to generate content as if it were that specific persona. Practice your soft skills by adding in even more specific scenarios. For example, if you want to train up your sales team, you can ask ChatGPT to be a sales rep and you will be the manager. You then set out a scenario like the rep is struggling and that they're worried about their performance. You can then write prompts and start a conversation and write in short, simple sentences to coach that sales rep and practice your soft skills. Now, I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on coaching, and you can actually ask ChatGPT to play the part of any expert or coach. You can have a coaching conversation on any topic you like and receive advice and motivation. For example, you can write out something like, I want you to act as a life coach, I'll provide some details about my current situation and goals, and I want you to then coach me through this. When you hit enter, ChatGPT will respond with some prompts and you can have an actual conversation in the chat window exploring things in more detail. Now, if you wanna stand out when you're writing blogs or on socials, you need to generate content that challenges readers' assumptions. You need to seek out provocative ideas that defy expectations and break the mold. And this will help your writing to stand out if you're building a blog or writing on socials to build any kind of audience. And ChatGPT can help you do that and help you think outside of the box of the normal way that you write. For example, you can set a topic like growing on Twitter and then ask it to specifically give contradictory and dominant narratives around the points that challenge assumptions and really stand out from generic content. Did you know that the more specific your instructions are, the better ChatGPT will write? If you add in best practice guidelines for writing the
the type of content you want, you'll get the best responses possible. For example, if your topic is how to grow a newsletter, you can write in very specific bullet pointed information, such as using H2 headings, using specific persuasive languages, and adding in questions, and sticking to good practice guidelines that will engage people on any blog or essay that you're writing. One of the main problems with generative AI is that most people put in very basic prompts and then get generic content back. Try using prompts that are open-ended or abstract and different to everybody else. You'll get back unique and creative responses when everyone else gets generic replies. By thinking outside the box, you can actually unlock ChatGPT's most creative potential. Rather than simply saying, write an essay, why not really be unique and say something like, describe the feeling before an exam from the perspective of a nervous student and write in the first person in the style of JK Rowling. Or if you wanna connect with your sales team, why not get it to write a rap about what it's like to build a SaaS business? You can use ChatGPT to create more dynamic and varied content. Try out different voices and perspectives and rephrase existing content to make it more accessible or delivered in a different tone to what you would normally write. This will not only help you improve your writing, but it will also allow for slightly different tones to really connect with different audiences. For example, you could type in something like, give me a very satirical or ironic commentary on a specific topic. Now, when you're writing, you often write from your own perspective, but did you know that you can ask ChatGPT to write from different perspectives on any topic? You can explore new ideas and perspectives and add depth to your writing. You can add in a topic like how to sell SaaS products, and then you can get ChatGPT to write multiple perspectives from different viewpoints. For example, that from the company owner, that from the sales rep, or that from the customer. And this gives a real diverse dialogue of exactly what's going on around the topic you want to cover. Now, finally, here's a quick bonus prompt that I really, really like. As I mentioned, I do a lot of regular coaching to improve in lots of areas of my life. And I've also coached lots of people that I employ to get the best out of them. A lot of the time, the biggest insights come from when a coach asks you what you think and then gets you to look at a problem in a context or from a slightly different angle. With ChatGPT, you can actually give a super specific prompt so that the AI acts as a work coach. It will ask you questions, summarize the key issues and reflect things back to get you thinking and avoid spending huge amounts of time on coaching. That's it. I hope you found this practical dive into generative AI and ChatGPT really helpful. To help you steal the prompts and try them out, I've added a link to a list of all the prompts in the comments below so that you can copy and paste them easily. Make sure you check out my video on generative AI, which I'll put up here, and the next video in the series, which looks at practical applications for studying. So hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when those drop. Thanks so much for subscribing and for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.